What's up guys, Justin here with thecgessentials.com back with another Blender quick tutorial for you. So in today's video, we're gonna talk about how to change your units and also show dimensions on your screen while you're modeling inside a Blender. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so um, first things first, a lot of the time you want to change the units inside a Blender depending on where you live and what kind of units you'd like to work with. You can set your units by going over here into your properties and then going down to your scene properties. Your scene properties is going to have a drop down that says units. Well, inside of your units, you can set if you are at imperial or metric, as well as down below, you can set your units for rotation, length, mass, and time. And so length is usually the one that ends up getting changed. And so you can see from this drop down that you can set this to be miles, feet, inches, or if you were to select metric, and then you get options for kilometers, meters, centimeters, millimeters, etc. So you can come in here and you can change your units by doing that. Notice how my grid is changing size when I do this because the units are changing. And so the other thing I wanted to show you how to do is how to show dimensions inside of your model. So let's say for example that we were to add a plane. So I'm going to add a plane right here. I'll move it so it's aligned with this corner. Let's say that you wanted to see the length and dimensions of this object. And so the way that you're gonna be able to do this is you're gonna be able to make the change in your overlays. But at the moment, you're gonna notice that the overlays option isn't in here. That's because this option only shows up if you go into edit mode. So if I was to select my plane and tab into edit mode and then go to my viewport overlays, you can see I have more options in here now. And so down below, there's an option for measurement that says edge length. And so if you check the box for edge length, what that's gonna do is that's gonna show the length of any edge that's selected. So let's say for example, that I was to select this vertex. Let's say we were to move it along the X axis, two feet like this. Well now, if I was to come in here in edge select mode and select this edge, you can see how this gives me the length of this edge. And so basically what this does is this shows the length of any selected edge that you have in here. So let's say for example that I was to select this whole face. You can see how, and it's a little bit hard to see right here, you can see how this is showing you the length of all of the different edges that are selected. So maybe a better example is, we'll go ahead and we'll move this out a little bit. We'll move this over, but let's say we were to take this whole thing and inset it in. Notice how what this is doing is this is now showing the length of every one of these edges in here. And um, notice that these adjust dynamically as well, meaning if you make a change, these lengths change as well. And so you can see how I can select multiple edges and get the length of all of them by doing a shift click. You can also select multiple vertices and it'll give you the length of any edges between those vertices. So you can see how this will show me the length just like this. And so in addition to being able to see the lengths, you can also click this drop down and see the face area. So um, now if I was to come in and select a face, notice that this gives me my area in square feet. And so if we were to change our units, then it would give it to us in whatever our units are. And this will show for multiple different selected faces as well. So you can see how now, if I select these, this is showing me my edge length as well as my face area. So you can use this in order to see very precision things about your models really quickly inside of Blender. So that's where I'm gonna end this video. Leave a comment below and let me know what you thought. Have you used this before? Do you find it beneficial to have the edge length shown inside of your models? I just love having that conversation with you guys. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new Blender content every week. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.